Nothing arouses my ire. It's my desire to be calm. If I'm in the midst of a riot, my nerves are quiet. I'm calm. My nature is exceedingly mild. But there's one thing that drives me wild. How am I doing? I'm a chap with a chip on my shoulder. When anyone looks at you, I'm a fighting man, a dangerous Dan McGrew. My position may be weak. I'll admit I'm somewhat meek. But when someone greets you with a high acuity, the green-eyed monster says, do your duty. I'm a chap with a chip on my shoulder. When anyone looks at you, how my muscles swell in the throes of jealousy. I may not be six feet two, haven't Samson's hair, tis true. I'm a chap with a chip on my shoulder. When anyone looks at you Chip on my shoulder when anyone looks at you. How my muscles swell in the throes of jealousy. I may not be six feet two, haven't Samson's hair is true. But I'm a chap with a chip on my shoulder when anyone looks at you. That's it, ma'am. And the audience gave him a great big hand, too. Of course, for the boys, it was just another show. But for Christian, it was great publicity. Uh, empty. That's very interesting, Mr. Holden. Pardon? Coming from a newspaper man. But I'll have no cheap, undignified publicity at Margaret. But it isn't undignified, Andy. I can't understand why we don't have more students. Well, it's because our girls are, well, men won't even come to our proms. Sure, you need regular girls. Not a lot of petunia putters. Girls with zip. Let me remind you both that through the study of nature, my girls develop well-rounded minds. Minds they can live with the rest of their lives. But, Andy, a girl doesn't want to live with a mind. She wants to live with a husband. But, Jim! <clears throat> uh, listen, would you be willing to give away 12 scholarships? To 12 unusual girls? Well, if it would help my school, yes. <clears throat> it will. I hope so. But I wonder... You don't have to wonder any longer. There they are. You need girls like that. Look them over. There's the watermelon queen, the pumpkin queen, the orange queen, the lemon queen, the strawberry queen. Millions of them. What lovely tomatoes. Why is she called the tomato queen? Because she grew them herself. That's how she won the title. Really? Mm -hmm. She's a very pretty girl, too. Empty. Sure, there's queens like her all over this country. We could pick 12 and give them membership and scholarships to Mar Brim. Yes, Andy, and they'll all be so outstanding. Well, it doesn't seem beneath the dignity of Mar Brim. We could call them the girls most likely to succeed. That's swell. Now, all we need is some quick notoriety. Not to get riot. But dripping with dignity, like a public announcement. You know, the way Harvard lampooned Hollywood. <laughs> Let me think, let me think. I've got it. We'll pick on the men least likely to succeed. Do you mean those mentally undernourished males at Quinston, cavorting as girls? The Zeta boys! Great, Auntie! I mean, pardon me. Write an article for your paper about them and spread it on thick. Call them dumbbells, call them anything you like, and I'll see if the press picks it up. 
Now make them look ridiculous, and we'll have the article, Men Least Likely to Succeed. But do you think we should? Perhaps they will succeed. Oh, don't be silly. Everybody knows that Quinston men don't succeed. They inherit. <laughs> Hey, fellas, get a load of this. Can you imagine that? Some hick girls' college is putting us on the pan. Where's Henry? I'm coming, mother. <laughs> now, look, we know you're the world's greatest dramatic actor, but this is serious. Quit hamming, will you? Listen, girls, are you interested in horticulture? Perhaps you will be one of this season's festival queens to win a scholarship to Marbrin. Send us your pictures and credentials. They're just taking a crack at us to advertise their scholarship award. We got to do something about it. That's right. Yeah. Well, I know what Gary Cooper would say. He'd, uh, he'd say, uh, I, uh, I, I don't know how you people do things here, but, well, uh, well back where I come from, we act. Yeah. Now, uh, now, now, wouldn't it be too bad if this scheme of theirs should backfire some way? Yeah, backfire. What's on your mind? Why, uh, why, why, some way to turn the tables on account of we won't let ourselves be treated that way. That's it. And we've had plenty of experience. We all just finished impersonating girls. Suppose one of the Marbrin candidates turns out to be a boy. Then one of us would go to Marbrin as a contest winner. And, and you, you, Henry, are great at imitations. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not me. I only impersonate men. Well, get a pack of cards and we'll cut for it. That was a great idea, Bob. Do you think it's possible? Oh, wouldn't that be something? Gee, can you imagine being in a girl school? <whistles> huh? Oh. I don't want to go. I'll frame him. You will think of something dirty, Mr. Bergen. You always do. Yes, but what? He's the one to go. You will, well, give him the business. Give him the business. Uh, now, if I were in your place, I'd certainly... Charlie, nothing crooked. Why, Mr. Bergen, I'm a man of high honor. How could you even... Charlie, answer my question. Yes, but you don't, Charlie. Well, Charlie, oh, well... Uh, uh, yes, Darcy. Yeah, and besides, <laughs> you got a deck of cards, haven't you? Shelly McCarty! <laughs> we'll fake a swell picture of a girl with her arms full of flowers, which naturally she grew herself. <laughs> you know, the beauty type Well, of... uh, we're willing to take our chances. And, uh, Bob, as president of the fraternity, I, I think it's only right that you take the first card. Oh, no. well, there's no... <laughs> yeah, and one who gets the first ace goes. First ace? Yeah. Agreed? Right. Yeah. First ace. Right. Take your pick. Well, you are afraid. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of important, you know. Whoa. Oh, too oh, sad. Oh, well, uh, let's make it two out of three. Oh, no, no, no. You won and you go as queen of the flowers. Gee. Madame? And Marbrenn expects you to do a good job. And we know you won't let us down. Oh, I'm hooked. <laughs> well, that's all right, Bob. After all, it should be right up your alley. Uh. Hey, hey, look. Hey, ace, 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 Spinach, the tobacco queen, the Chesterfield all-American girl. Isn't she beautiful? What a lovely turkey. Give me the girl and I'll give you the bird. Well, that's satisfactory. I never realized there were so many lovely girls with such amazing talents. Listen, there's only, uh, only 11 here. We need one more. Well, we have fruits and vegetables. Flowers must be represented. I'll take this one. Queen of the flower. Bobby DeWolf. 
It's a very interesting face. That's fine, Auntie. Don't call me Auntie. Oh, I'm sorry, but what I was going to say uh, was, uh, with all these pretty girls, you'll have to relax a little and let some boys on the campus. Never. No men on the campus during school hours. Not while I'm president of Marbrin. Well, I'm a man. You're safe. Hey, listen, you guys. Come here. Come here. I want to show you something. Hey, shh, fellas. Here he comes. He's coming. Is he in a good mood? Oh, I don't know. But it sure wasn't when we were helping him into her clothes. Let go of me, will you? I'm not going to run away. The fraternity will never forget this. It was your idea, and you're the only one that could do it. Make Mar Brin look like a sucker. Yeah, sucker is right, and I'm it. And I'm not going to go through it. Oh, oh yes, you will. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Don't trip again there, dearie, or we'll give you the words. <laughs> Watch your little temper. Oh, you can't back out now. Besides, you look like Ginger Rogers, more or less. And think of all the fun you'll have. Yeah, fun. I'll probably land in jail. Oh, now, wouldn't that be too bad? <laughs> now, remember, you're doing this for Zeta. We'll all be rooting for you. We know you can do it, so don't let us down. And don't forget to write He's a nice Bobby, look, look. That must be she there. Yes, sir. Mm, and a honey. It occurred in here every night. Miss Bobby DeWolf from Quiston Community. Queen of the flowers. <laughs> Welcome to Marbrin Special. Huh? Now, don't forget, keep that baritone trap ear shut. Pretend like you got a sore throat or something. Come, come, Mr. Wolf. Gotta be going. Oh, now you better kiss your friends goodbye, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, dear. <laughs> There we go. Now we're off. My goodness, but you do have a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> Just brothers. Just brothers. My, my. All aboard. Oh, hello, honey. Hello. Here you are, right up here, number two. Now listen, I want you to get a good night's rest and take care of that throat, Bobby. If I may call you that. Uh, honey. You know, you're different from these other girls around here. Oh, you go on. Uh, uh, let me help you up. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, I'll get a letter. Yes, sir. Sunbeams peeping through after dreaming all night of you. I'm 
him up at the crack of dawn, whistling, <whistles> singing, da 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 da. Never saw the sky look quite so blue after dreaming all night of you. Wishing I was eyes awakening with your kiss on my lips. Oh my kiss, awful gathering the dark dull eclipse. I'm up with the cheery yawn, whistling. <whistles> All your sweet embraces linger on I whistle and sing, there isn't a thing I like at the crack of dawn dormitory assignment, and I hope you'll all be very happy at Marbury. Well, I'll be seeing you all, or will I? Now, Bobby, dear, come with me. We're very much concerned about this throat of yours. <coughs> oh, not that door, my dear. That leads to the basement, the one opposite. Do we feel like sharing a room, or would we rather be alone? Alone, please. It's a very nice little room, right next to mine. Do we feel well enough to stay up, or would we rather go right to bed? Oh, to bed. Of course, if you'd rather, we can send you up to the infirmary for a complete examination. Oh, no, no. I, uh, I'm just a little horse. <laughs> we do sound more like a mule. <laughs> Feel more like a jackass. Gosh. Boy, I'm going to get out of here. Ah. Uh, Bobby, what are you doing? Well, um, my throat is cold. I'm, I'm just keeping it warm. Oh, is that all? Well, look, do something for me, will you? I just can't seem to do anything with these. Fix them for me, please. Well, what do you want me to do with this? Well, just fix my hair, silly. Say, you know what? I met a Zeta at Midwest over the phone. Gee, sounded grand. He asked me for a date Saturday night. He has a friend. Want to come? Mm -hmm. Well, we could sneak out of here, I bet you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know how those satyrs work. <laughs> well, you do have to be quick, but oh boy, it sure is fun. Well, goodbye now. Goodbye. You look very lovely. Goodbye. I'm Virginia Collins. Welcome to Marbrin. Is there anything I can do for you? I hear you have a pretty sore throat. Yes, very pretty. I mean, <coughs> yes, it's very sore. <coughs> have you gargled? <coughs> what on earth do you have here? It's just sort of a, well, just laundry. <laughs> oh, well, I came to tell you about the thing over by the bell tower. Too bad you can't come because of your throat. Oh, it feels much better now. Well, if you do come, be quiet. It's against the rules, and Andy doesn't like it. Well, 
I'm awfully sorry about your throat. And I can understand why you want to be alone. But it's too bad, because we were supposed to be roommates. <laughs> business here and a man's coat well where these things come from oh oh here's his shoes i'm gonna call miss matilda and tell her all about this <clears throat> hello uh miss matilda there's a man's clothes done come down this shoe uh, uh what ma'am mm -mm. uh oh no no ma'am i'm sure of course i'm sure these here clothes ain't made out of no organdy. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, Miss Matilda. I must have left the washing machine going. At least I hope so, I did. Uh, uh, Miss Matilda, as I was saying, there was a man's shoes. They were shoes, but they must have walked off by themselves. Uh, listen, Miss Matilda, there's something going on here that ain't the way I like it. Now the honors are going. <laughs> my, my, Miss Matilda, it must be my nerves. <laughs> uh, uh, hold a while while I turn off the honor. No, ma'am, I ain't crazy. Miss Matilda, did y'all ever find your hoodie or the collar? I think he's here or somebody's here. Yes, am I goes to cut the, the honor off and the shirt and the shoes is gone. Yes, ma'am. It was just like this. See, I goes over to the honor to cut it off and, and the shirt's gone. And then I goes to the washing machine and the shoes is gone. Ah, the place is haunted. Miss Matilda, before your ass wash lady leaves here, y'all better come down here and get these pants. <laughs> No longer. I go crazy. I just can't stay here. Oh, this is awful. Now, yeah, go to watch it. She's going to go into the. all this talk about pants. Where are they? I don't know where they is, but I sure know where they ain't. What is the matter with you? <laughs> ain't nothing the matter with me. This here place is haunted. First the shirt and the shoes goes by themselves, then the washing machine and the honor goes by itself, then the pants go by itself. Now I'm going by myself. Goodbye, Miss Matilda.
sleeping, I can't help but rejoice. I'm up in heaven from the bottom of the sea. When out of the silence you come. see you, but right now I'm holding the bell cord. Quiet or she'll hear you. I never saw you in my life before. Well, I've seen you. I want to help you with this presentation. My name's Bob Shepard. You see, I'm interested in a way through, through Bobby DeWolf. Oh. Oh, that is just professional. I taught her to sing and dance. Confidentially, though, I don't like her much. Not after I saw you, Virginia. How did you know my name? Oh, I, I know a lot of things. Uh, say, say, would you mind holding this just for a minute? Be careful now, it's heavy. Now, you know, you can't let go of that, or the bell will ring and wake up the whole town. And the old girl will hear it and come and find us here together. What's the matter with you? You aren't going, are you? No, 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 just trying to resist temptation. You see, there's a little red man with horns behind me, egging me on, pushing me with his pitchfork, shoving me forward, forward, like this. I don't see him. Well, he's there. Now, was that nice? <sighs> Elegant. Well, wait. I mean, uh, perhaps I'd like to get in on this myself. Oh, lady. Now, you can hold it for the rest of the night. What a dirty trick. Well, goodbye, Bob. Listen, if you leave, so help me. I'll let go of this rope. You can let go any time. That bell hasn't worked in 14 years. Oh. like that, huh? It's terrific. Gee! <laughs> Glamorous addition to Moore Brim's Fall Festival. Get a load of that guy. He's doing all right. Good morning. Good morning. Well, looks like all our little girls are as busy as be... Good morning, Mr. Holden. Good morning, honey. You know, we're going to rehearse our presentation in here. Is that so? Well, girls, are we all ready? Oh, Mr. Holden, do you really think these spots mean anything? I don't know, but I called a doctor. 
You would get spots at a time like this. Has anybody seen Bobby? I'm worried about her. She was out all night. Well, don't say anything. Keep it quiet. Hello, fellas. Look, fellas, be reasonable, can't you? I know I promised, but I've fallen in love with a girl. She's like orchids covered with dew, like, oh, like moonlight and violin. She's... Hey, now, wait a minute, Bob. Hey, fellas. Looks like love has crossed us up. Hey, we can't let him quit now. Now, look. You took an oath and love or no love, we can't let you get out of it. We'll send some of the local Zeta boys over to keep him from walking out. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Now, listen, Bob. Wait a minute. It, it's only me, Virginia. I'll be there in a minute. I gotta quit. I'm caught in the hot house. Spent the night here. Wait a minute, Virginia. I thought Bobby was. Oh, look, Virginia. I know it looks bad, but well, just trust me, huh? And I believed you last night. Oh, now. For Bobby's sake, you'd better get out of here right now. Virginia. Are you sure those spots mean what you said? You can't quarantine the whole school, you know. What about our presentation? There's nothing I can do. Miss Bunny has measles. Must be put to bed at once. And the school is under quarantine. Sorry. Too bad. It's just too bad. Poor kid. Oh, it just wrecks all of our plans. That's a pity. It's an awful pity. The very first time we try something like this. Well, couldn't we postpone the presentation? No, no, you can't do that. We spoil the publicity angle. We'll just have to make the best of it. I just knew something like this would happen. I'm sorry, Andy. There must be something we can do. There is. You can have your presentation, have it in here. You know, you can't catch measles from behind glass. Who are you, young man? I'm qualified to stage your presentation. I figured in presentation to my own. I know what to do and how to do it. Now, we could move all these ferns and plants out of one end and have sort of a stage. Why, we might even make costumes out of the plants. Yeah, this is a place, all right. Well, what do we do now? Oh, now, look. Uh, our Zeta brothers at Quinston say the guy's here disguised as a girl. We just keep our eyes peeled, and when we find him, we give him the work, see? Get a load of that over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, how do we get in? Huh? Oh, oh, get in. Well, here, I got it. We'll, we'll grab one of these. Come on, you get one. Oh. Go on. Oh. Wait a minute. I can't get in that way. Oh. Hey, we should quit playing around. Uh, say, we've been here three days and we haven't found that phony dame yet. I know, I know. I've been trying, though, ain't I? Trying to make dates with him. Well, goodbye now. Goodbye, Bobby. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. Ahem. How are you, beautiful? Oh, hello. <laughs> Go on, get out of here, will you? Um, Bobby. Yes? Why don't you like me? Oh, well, I like you, but I've seen you with the other girls. Oh. <laughs> you play too rough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bobby, uh, yeah? can you keep a secret? Uh-huh. Well, uh, I, I had to do that, you know, be a little rough with the girls. Oh, you should learn to control yourself. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, it's nothing like that, but Bobby, yeah? you know, there's a man here disguised as a girl, and I gotta find him. A man? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Will you please get out of here? Go on, Scram. Oh. 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 Where am I? Well, you're with me, baby. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh! Oh! Ooh. 
What's the matter, Bobby? I, I won't hurt you. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Will you scram your cramp in my style? Yeah, I get it. Oh, Bobby, you're such a lovely girl. <laughs> oh, Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby, you play so right. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> oh, no, Bobby, now cut it out. Uh, I know you're tired. Oh, Bobby, now wait a minute. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> oh, gee, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Oh. That'll teach you not to play fast and loose with me. Oh, Bobby, let me up. Please let me up. Oh. I don't see why you have to be so rough. Tiki! Oh, Bobby! Oh. Tiki, Tiki! Oh. Tiki, Tiki, Tiki! Oh. oh, please let me up, won't you, Bobby? Will you promise to be a gentleman? Oh, yeah. Bobby, I... I promise anything. All right now, but remember your promise. Oh. <laughs> you little dickens. Now I got you. Hey, 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 hey. What's the matter with you? What do you always keep coming around for? Just when I get going good, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> We slay them, Andy. We'll knock them cold. <laughs> oh, Andy, what's this? Don't touch it. That's a Diania muscapula. My, my, do tell. Venus trap. Meat-eating plant to you. Mm. Poor darling, it's hungry. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to feed it. to explain. Explanations are not necessary. Oh, but Bob Shepard is... Please, you're only making matters worse. I am grateful to Bob Shepard for what he's done for Mar friend, but it ends there. Get into your costume. There's the overture. Virginia. Hurry up, operator, will you please? Hello, Quinston. Zeta House. Hello, you lugs. Thanks to you, I lost a girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Am I? Of course I'm going through with it. I'll get revenge in plenty. When do you see the papers? Where's Bobby? Probably in there with her boyfriend. Well, you better get on the stage. Your father's first number. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, we're ready. Yeah, all right. OK. What a finish. Mm -hmm. Tell your best photographers to get up overhead. It'll make a sensational finale shot. Now, go ahead. Nothing, Virginia. It's oh, just that's a... my music. Our peaceful countryside is lonely as can be. Someone I shall mention merits the attention of the men who write our history. The poor farmer's daughter, she's wasting her glamour and charm. Old Dobbin and a plow and a piggy and a cow left on the farm. Oh, the poor farmer's daughter, she once had a bow on each arm. They took it on the lamb, went to train for Uncle Sam, and they left her alone on the farm. Her papa says the crop for the year is the top, but that doesn't ease her slumber. What good is the crop when you beat one a hop? You can't roam with an old cucumber. Left 
But there's something I want to say to you. you lost your revenge because of me. But you should have a public apology for Zeta. Oh, getting you is enough for me. But don't you think your friends will be angry when they see those publicity pictures? Oh, they'll understand. Oh. Boy, oh boy, how do you like that, huh? It's terrific. Gee.